Hey everybody, welcome to Neil Talks. My name's Neil and it's time to talk Rick and Morty. I don't think we've got a big intro here today. It's episode two, it's season four. It's called The Old Man in the Seat. The Old Man in the Sea is a, a Hemingway novel. I will admit I've never read it. Don't know really what it's about other than an old man who's a fisherman. But yeah, beyond that, no idea. Don't know how this episode's going to relate, if at all. So let's just jump right into it, and we'll have plenty to talk about afterwards. The Old Man and the Seat. Ah, real Canadian maple We're syrup. syrup. Good. Thanks, Glutey. Anything else? Do you want to develop an app? No thanks, Glutey. Hey, Rick, why does it say do not develop my app on your intern's forehead? Why? You want to develop one? Oh, I'm glad you asked that, Jerry. It's so you don't develop his app. He seems to really want to develop an he app. He really does, sweetie, but nobody's going to do that. <laughs> what's he, what's Glutey's app idea? He's a shy pooper. He has a secret pooping place. Man, fuck you, Summer. Honey, why can't you get this excited about your SATs? Did you want to develop an app? I'll pass, Glutey. <laughs> You'll loss. 50-50, final offer. <laughs> oh, no, Jerry, what have you done? Okay, what planet's this? It's just, this just Rick going for a poop? It's the best toilet in the world. I could go there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What the hell is this place? <laughs> Did he build this whole place? Reverse digestion extrapolation. What are you guys doing? Does he catalog his poops? App? Rule number one in app development, son. Never follow the rule. Why do you think Rick would have that rule? Because he's a disruptive foe. To keep something horrible from happening. Something he's too lazy to explain. Guys, we're getting our first users. Oh no. Summer! Danny? Summer Smith! Danny Booblitz from Love Finders with two R's and a Z? I think I love you. Me too. Hi, I'm my underage daughter's mother. Nice to- Whoa! Come on! Uh, this isn't working. Wait, what are you- Never mind. Honey, our daughter ran off with a frisbee golfer because of some app with a really dumb, really forgettable name. I love you too. Okay, Glutey, take the app down. Can I take it down? I'm just an intern. <laughs> That's not how apps work. Then nope. make it how it works. <laughs> the server's on the mothership. Where's the mothership? It's coming. Take us to it. No. Yes, shake it more, Morty. That was working. Take us to the mothership! <gasps> <laughs> Is he gonna explode? Okay, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. An ominous beeping app. <laughs> you can't stay mad at a guy with this kind of talent. Dad, you can and you have to. Are you Verma Gerber? What does this guy want? Who's this monkey? I'm here about a sandwich. Oh, well, you came to the right place. Give the human whatever he wants. He knows where I live. He's crazy. I have 800,000 kids. Don't forget your voicemail. You have 470,000 messages. Oh! Wait, this is seriously about sandwiches? I thought this was about drugs or guns. Who ordered it? Talk to our delivery drone. He, he run off to fight in the robot wars. I hope this was worth making a whole swarm of enemies. It will be when I find whoever shit in my toilet. Is that code for something? Someone nope. look that up. If that's drug slang, I need to know it. Mom, you can't stop true love. Oh, yes, I can. You're I'm being assaulted. Oh. Yeah, okay. Statutory rape. Whoa. My daughter's about to be raped. No, I'm not. I'm being assaulted. Rape. Assault. Rape. Nobody cares. Deal with this shit on your own. I'm Danny, by You've the way. You've had your chance, dick. <laughs> Take your app down. What? I'm their hostage. Do they have weapons? Nope, but neither do I. Do, do you have a weapon? No. Not bad, Morty. Yeah, I don't know when the other shoe's gonna drop, but this is working pretty good so far. <coughs> Greetings. <gasps> we are the Monogatrons. You will now witness the true power of superior intimacy. Take the app down. Take it down or we'll, we'll, we'll punch you. Someone wanted a gun. I'll take it, thanks. Here's the evil plan. Fuck! God damn it! Had you bothered to master love, you would have learned by now it is as abundant as water. You know what isn't? Water. That shit runs out. So we'll be taking yours. Am I interrupting? Impossible. Here she is. Mwah. 
Your prisoners are getting away. Prisoners are just things. Connect with me. Tell me about your day. Did you know humans are 80% water? Oh, okay, back to work. Find and kill those earthlings. Then we go out in glory. The robot wars. Yes, intruder. Oh, hold on. My apologies, Lieutenant Commander. No problem. <laughs> Okay, listen, you delivered an avian protein club sandwich with no lettuce. God damn it! <laughs> Here at the Midland Quasar, we're in a complete upset. The revolution has overturned the lizards. It's totally uh, I understand, Mr. Phillips. You dropped that. I'll have to call you back. Here, Where do you want to die? Susan, it's conference room three available. Life has been hollow since I lost her. <laughs> Using your toilet was nice, though. I'm a bit of a shy pooper. Share it. I'm ready when you are. Don't use your dead wife as an excuse. You shit on my toilet because you don't know your place. You're not going to kill me? Don't tell me what to do! <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, so you like being alive. You need the same thing I needed, Rick. You need someone to give you permission to live. What the? You know what shy pooping is, Rick. It's a pointless bid for control. We can spend our lives fighting that, or we can choose to be free. You're right, Tony. I'm done fighting. Time to be free. Oh, oh no! Wait, actually gonna... Oh, God! Oh, God. Baby B, I missed you so much. I never really left you. Come poop with me. Poop with me, Tony. Poop with me. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Aren't you gonna join us, Tony? Aren't you gonna join us in the poopin'? <laughs> He's a shy pooper. <clears throat> That's it, get out. You can make a perfectly realized toilet-filled simulation of heaven, but you can't share a toilet. Don't insult my craft. If your heaven is toilets, that's on you. Goodbye forever. If you touch my toilet again, you die. You need a friend. I have a million cooler friends than you. I'll be seeing you. You'll be dying. We're gonna be friends. You're gonna be dead. <laughs> Adventures of Jerry and Morty, huh? Put her there. Dad, look, you, you know, we don't need a high five. It's, it's kind of your fault that we're in this situation at all. I know, but, you know, come on. Okay. Frickin' Jerry. Jeff, I can explain everything. You don't have to. Can you just marry us instead? Jeff, don't do it! Richard. Running bird! Let's get out of here. Priest Witherspoon! Summer Smith, let's get the hell out of here. You had me at my own name. Oh, yeah, no, why would I... <laughs> what in the hell are you doing? Parenting. That's not how I did it. Yeah, where's your daughter? Ah, uh, you're right. She joined ISIS. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to set us free! Actually, he's been blamed for bringing you aboard and assigned to execute you. Whoa, whoa. That's what I thought, Bluey. Looks like you and I are all we've got. I've got a date with dumping a dating app. Bluey, you do. Was that ever his thing? No. He never exited that way. No, first nope. time. Dad, I want to say something. I started today disgusted and embarrassed to be your son. And then later, I thought we were gonna die because you're a loser. Yeah, there's no no there's resolution. No nope. There. Now quit fucking up and let's go. Is Tony here? I brought I brought him some uh, vegan fiber chili. Then you tell him uh, the toilet's all his. He'll, he'll he'll know what I mean. Tony died. He crashed into a tree space skiing down Mount Space Everest. Fuck. There's a Mount Space Everest. I gotta process this. Oh no no you you don't want to eat that you you'll 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 become the opening of the Beverly Hillbillies you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know these references. Yeah, but you have a Space Everest. Watch Space Beverly Hillbillies so my jokes can land. You fucking twat. Summer, how many soulmates is that in the last week? Four. You can't stop me from loving who I love, Mom. Oh, the shit I can't. I'm gonna mother you until your 18th birthday, even if I get thrown in prison for non-consensual mothering. And mother your fucking face out of your stupid asshole! I'm gonna daughter your brains out, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Fucker! That's 
That's my name. Don't wear it out. Uh. Uh. Adwall? Fuck this. You childish prick! How much water are you sucking through these stupid fucking tubes these on your tubes back? are cool, and I want a divorce! You can have one for a glass of goddamn water! On the off chance that you use the app and there's someone out there waiting for you, I... Jerry, uh... I didn't use it. Did you? Me? No. God, of course not. Well, then we're no. all good, dog. No matches, Jerry. Ted dancing. There is a version of Tony that was completely evil and ended up causing a lot of genocide because of how fulfilled he was. So really, a lot of ways of looking at this is not much of a loss. I understand. You're not helping it's me. It's um, hard losing a friend. Fuck you. What? He's not my friend. What's it rigged to do? There he is. There's our guy. Congrats, Tony. Uh, Have fun with your stupid toilet. Look at you sitting there, king shit on his throne of loneliness. All hail his majesty, the saddest piece of garbage in the entire cosmos. May his reign last a thousand years. Jesus. I'm so freaking dark. Hmm. Globa fan. No! I'll be able to drink water for weeks because of you. It's just part of my job, ma'am. Just finished my first delivery of the day. 900 more to go. Did you get any of that? I... I really appreciated that episode, and yet... I, I, I mean, there were certainly some laugh out loud moments, but I didn't feel like I was laughing as much as I often do with this show. But I don't know, even know if that's necessarily a detriment. It feels like it's a very sentimental season, almost. This whole episode was about Rick finding a friend that he refused to acknowledge as a friend. They sort of bonded over being shy poopers. Which is a really odd thing to bond over. I, I love that Rick has created or terraformed this planet um, and equipped it solely as his private bathroom to the extent that one broken twig out of place alerts him to somebody else using it. I like that his first instinct isn't to kill this one particular guy. I'm not sure what it is about this one particular guy that that Rick decides makes him friend-worthy, at least on a subconscious level, because he killed an alternate version of this guy. And it finishes with him sitting on his own throne, being taunted by a hundred versions of himself, holographic versions of himself. King shit. This definitely makes me never want to try another dating app this episode. I love the mother-daughter fight that was literally, I'm going to mother the crap out of you, I'm going to daughter the shit out of you between Summer and Beth. That was great. Jerry's just an, uh, just a fuck up. Like, how, how, cl how much clearer could instructions be with the intern about don't develop an app with him? Tattooed across his forehead, the whole breakfast conversation, and Jerry just can't help himself. Jerry's just just a screw-up. And <laughs> I loved Morty's closing remarks to him at the end of the day, where it's like, uh, I, 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 wouldn't, I, I can't even remember exactly, but it's like, I started this day being ashamed of being your son, and I finished it wanting to hate, wanting to kill you, or something like that. Negative and negative, and it was it was one of those setups where it would turn into a but now, except there is no but now in Morty's feelings. He's still ashamed and uh, embarrassed of his father, still thinks his dad's a screw up, and he just wants to get home safe, despite his dad's continual sucking. <laughs> It does feel like a more sentimental year so far. Um, I don't know if that's sort of like a longer term trend. Like all of season three had underlying it Beth and Jerry's divorce. 
and what's the underlying story this season does it have to do with rick's unhappiness i don't know it feels like it could this far into the season but we'll just have to watch a few more episodes and uh see what what evolves what Cronenbergian monster evolves love the show can't wait for the next one as always leave your comments i'd love to hear your thoughts on this episode and until next time everybody take care stay healthy i'll see you soon cheers